Hey folks, uh, Steve here with Victory for Veterans, and I have the pleasure to be with Ed Good, who's the owner of the Good Warbirds Museum here in Casper, Wyoming. Thank goodness it's a great warm day here today. It is, yes. <laughs> and we drove up from Colorado Springs to uh, be with Ed, and um, Ed's going to tell us a little brief story about the museum, but also then explain this cool little display here. But uh, we've been in discussion about uh, bringing the museum under the nonprofit Victory for Veterans and how we can uh, uh, make this aware, uh, make awareness to more veterans. So, Ed, thanks so much. Uh, You're welcome. This is my first chance to meet you. We've talked on the phone, but it's, it's, uh, it's an pleasure. honor. Yeah. And so, tell us a brief story about the museum, but, but then yes. get to this little, little Well, thing. my dad is Jim Good. Uh, he was a commercial pilot for uh, many years for Amoco Oil Company, which is now British Petroleum. Uh, he retired from there. Uh, the whole time that he flew for Amico, his passion was air racing. He owned a World War II primary fighter trainer called the T-6 Texan. And he raced that at the National Air Races in Reno every year. So throughout the museum, you'll find things that he's collected, uh, aviation-related, most of them, or military-related, over a period of probably 40 years of his life. Wow. Uh, this was an opportunity for him to share his passion with the public. And uh, he's had a lot of fun with it. Uh, he passed away in April of 2016, but uh, two years prior to that, I had applied for him to be inducted in the Wyoming Aviation Hall of Fame. And uh, that occurred about two months before he passed away. Wow. So uh, Dad did have the privilege of learning that uh, he was being inducted. Nice. It was a very exciting, uh, rewarding experience for uh -huh. him. Great. Uh, as you walk through his museum, you'll see six rooms full of a very eclectic collection of models, 48 star flags, military uniforms that were donated by friends and family members, uh, a vast uh, photographic collection, interesting posters, it's just endless. Every time you come in the museum, yeah. you'll see different things if you have an opportunity to come back. Uh, we try to rotate the displays and, and keep the interest level as high as we can. Yeah. Uh, for instance, here on my left, uh, I'm pretty sure this came from my cousin, Shane Good, in Fayetteville, uh, North Carolina. His dad was a Green Beret in the Vietnam War, wow. and so Shane has that military background. Uh, his stepdad was the uh, head of the Golden Knights parachute team. Wow. And Shane is a bit of a collector himself, like my dad. So he would mm -hmm. send things to the museum and say, hey Jim, Uncle Jim, I think you'd like to have this in your museum. This happens to be a fighter pilot's uh, G-suit for uh, a pressure suit when they uh, are doing uh, maneuvers in a uh, supersonic jet. There are a lot of G-forces on the body. This suit yeah. would keep the blood flow in the trunk of your body instead of in your extremities so you didn't pass out during a dogfight. Be because while you're flying, the blood would naturally go down? Yes, right. Or wherever the G-force is right. taking it? Okay. And since uh, fighter jets are not pressurized the same way that a uh, commercial airliner is, they have their own oxygen supply and they wear a G-suit and, and they're properly equipped to, to fly during battle. And uh, that's kind of interesting to see some of these things. In the larger hangar, which is about 13,000 square feet, uh, we can bring in our two MiG-15s that my dad imported from uh, Poland in 1992. Uh, they're very interesting for the public to see. Uh, he has a drag parachute from a MiG-29 that uh, he got from some Russian pilots that he met at an air show in Canada. <laughs> wow. So the variety of things that you can see here is really endless. Yeah. And um, since my dad's passing, it's been really gratifying to share his passion with people and, and, and see the smiles on little kids' face. We have a lot of school tours come through, uh, a lot of people from our senior communities, and of course tourists during the summertime. Uh, nice. We do a lot nice. of tours here. And we just had a tour as well, and it is, it's awesome. And like Ed said, uh, a wide variety of different things. So if you're anywhere close to Casper, come on in. But we're really excited to be working with Ed and uh, making this available to folks around, around the country. My dad so. was a veteran. He was passionate about veterans and people who served in the military. So uh, that's become my passion, and it's a way Great. that... It's a way that I can serve our veterans, and super, I'm excited super, about super. it. Yeah. Well, Ed, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yeah.